Via Brescia, Italy. The Mini Emilia was a classic Italian road race that grew to be one of the world's most famous races. Competitors would leave one at a time, wearing their starting times as their racing numbers. During the race, the country came to a standstill. Huge crowds greeted the winner as a conquering hero, particularly if he were Italian. Between 1948 and 1957, Scuderia Ferrari would win the Mille Miglia eight times, each time with an Italian driver, each time a cause for national celebration. In 1952, Alberto Ascari won six out of seven Formula One races and captured Ferrari's first world championship. Ascari's victories included a triumph of the legendary Nürburgring in Germany. The Nürburgring is regarded as the ultimate driver's circuit. There are races that test speed and agility, but the endurance race is the race of truth. a pure adrenaline that push man and machine to their limits. Speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour were common in the straits. full throttle, human error is inevitable, and nothing so magnifies every mechanical flaw, every driving mistake, as rain. <laughs> Many drivers met their end during endurance races, but they were also the scenes of our greatest victories. Ferrari's initial endurance victory and the first important international success came in 1949, just two years after Enzo built his first car. Since then, many of the Scuderia's greatest triumphs have been at endurance races. Called the Shark Nose when it debuted, the 156 F1 shattered records on every circuit. A true thing of beauty, it redefined how our races would be designed and built. In 1961, Ferrari won its first F1 Constructors World Championship title and fifth Drivers World Championship title with American driver Phil Hill. He was also the first driver to finish under nine minutes at the Nürburgring. Daytona's 24-hour race was a landmark event in the 1960s. With its three-story high turns, few tracks offered the pathos of Daytona. The height of this was 1967, an unforgettable spectacle. Racing its signature P3s and P4s, Ferrari neutralized the strong teams of Ford and Porsche, finishing first, second, and third, crossing the finish line side by side by side. We found ourselves pushing technology and drivers to the limit. In 1975, after 10 years without a Ferrari F1 championship, Nicky Lauda returned the prancing horse to the winner's platform. He also took the title in 1977 and was followed by the South African Jody Schechter in 1979. The legend lives on in drivers like Michael Schumacher, for five consecutive seasons, from 2000 to 2004, Michael Schumacher won the World Championship title. He has won more championships than any driver in Ferrari history. The heart 
of the champion roars on as Ferrari affirms their legacy of Formula One racing dominance. Kimi Raikkonen was a world champion in 2007, and Felipe Massa also emerged as an extraordinary talent. With eight constructors' world championship titles in ten years, Ferrari is the most successful team in racing history, and a standard by which all other Formula One teams are compared. Ferrari continues to innovate and lead the field as the rush of competition disappears in the red wig of the Cavallino Rampante brand. We hope you have enjoyed this ride through history. You've had a taste of the thrill and passion that Enzo Ferrari brought to life, that endures today through the leadership of Luca de Montezemolo. Goodbye.